Hello there, it's tea time and yeah, welcome to a little commentary. I thought I'd just kind of sit down and uh, do something different. Just make a little commentary and see how it goes and how I like it and yeah. So yeah, I'm using my uh, my Quasar deck, my Symphonic Quasar deck that uh, I think the video came up yesterday, probably, um, and yeah, I'll just, I'll, I'll kind of go through my decision making here, and yeah, I thought it was kind of diff, uh, kind of interesting to mix up things a little bit. Here. So this hand, yeah, I guess I can work with that. Um. I decide to uh, go for the rank 6 play here because I don't want uh, my scale getting blown up by Lila. So I'll just kind of go for this and then stuff will go well. So yeah, um, apart from that, this was uh, a pretty decent starting hand I'd say. Uh, I'll add the malicious back because I can... I, I will blow this up and then I can special some the militias. And yeah, I mean, I just hope he doesn't have the honest. If, oh god, he has the honest. Doesn't he? Yes, he does. Nice. So, yeah, my, my scale is getting uh, blown up here. Uh, I, I guess I'll use the effect then. Because it won't be useful, anyways, to have the possibility to special summon malicious here so I'll just I'll just get the surge and make sure I have it next turn. <laughs> that them mills. Them mills so good. Triple Simog. Don't don't wanna have that card anyways. It sucks. Um but yeah. I suppose it's looking fine for me. I mean he already burned through an honest and his his mills weren't all that good, but yeah, we'll we'll see, we'll see how things go. Um, and yeah, uh, I guess, I guess I guess I can kind of talk about um my videos. Uh, I mean, I've just kind of started it, uh, started this channel to see how it goes and if I like it because um I've I've been a fan. Of YouTube, I guess you can say that for uh, for a while now, and I've, I've always wanted to make my own little channel and yeah, see, see how being a YouTuber generally is, and yeah, uh, that's what I'm what I'm doing, I guess. Um, I'll, I'll discard the scissors so I can get its effect off in the graveyard. And then I got the bosses. Uh, increase its level by three, and then one for one for a level eater. I, I think that's a decent plan here, yeah. because now I could. Oh, what can I do? What can I really do here? Uh, I mean, mm, that might have not been the. The smartest play of all time, because like I kind of want to go for, um, what's it called, Moonlight Rose Dragon. Uh, yeah, that that wasn't wasn't so smart. Um, hmm. Well, now I just completely ruined it, haven't I? Uh, <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, I know it as well. Uh, go for that now, and why can't I go for the mistworm? Do I do I not have mistworm in here? Why do I not have mistworm in here? What am I doing with my life? Uh, well, scrap dragon won't help. Um, that was well done, me. Well done. Uh, ca can I get out of this somehow? Um, 
let's see. You could make a level 5. Make a formula. And then increase it level by 1 again. Uh, I'm really not liking this. I'm, that was bad. That was really bad. Oh, great, great draw. Great draw. Uh, let's see. What I, I could make... Ooh! Ooh, I just realized. Uh, I mean, not that it'll help me much, but I can make a status warrior, so <laughs> I could do that just just because it's cool, just because I like making status warriors. Okay. Yeah. Why why can't I? Oh, because I was stupid and left both of them. Ah. Uh. Uh-huh. Me. Me today. Okay, so this is this is not starting off very good. Uh <laughs> Um do I go for the I'll go I'll go for the Leo because there's no point in going for the starters because he'll just he'll crash into it and it won't it won't help me. And yeah. That that was a that was a waste, I'll say. I have to say that. Um, I, I guess, I, I'll assume I could have made like a lot better plays there. But I just, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, this is my first duel today. Excuse me. Um, at least I'm not up against a particularly, uh, particularly competitive deck, I suppose, because. If it can just make Beals. No, that's not all that good. I mean, Be Beals isn't a bad card. But, Beals is not, no, no big threat for me, I suppose. So yeah, I could go for, I think I'll go for, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to go for at least. Um, I'll, I'll keep this level 1. Then, uh, normal summon this dude. Uh, then I'll level leader off of my Leo. Make a librarian, then make a formula. And then, yeah, things, things are looking nice for me. For once. Uh, so yeah. Let's, let's do that. Uh, I think I'll be able to go for Quasar here, which unfortunately wouldn't help me much. <laughs> that it's oh, but then again, but then again, uh, oh wait, no, no, I can't go for Quasar really. Uh, I think the Moonlight Rose Dragon is gonna be a better play here, simply because. Uh, but then again, but then again, I got this chaos sorcerer. Let's see, let's see. With chaos sorcerer, but the problem is that I can't special summon a level leader twice. Uh, because if I special summon it now, eating off of the Leo. I won't be able to get in my graveyard again. I suppose. Um. Hmm. I think I'll just go for the Moonlight Rose. Keep this uh, in my hand for now. And yeah, I could go for a. Uh, yeah, let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. Um. <coughs> excuse me. Um. I suppose I'll go for a kind of tricky play here with a, a rank 6 so I can then uh, get back oh right no, that's not a thing I only run 1 and 7 in here that's unfortunate um I could have brought back my Samorg and then use that to uh, you know, go for further plays. 
But he, he's not in a good place anyways. He seems to be playing some kind of zombie. Zombie light swarm build. Uh, I've, I've seen those do well, but... Hmm. Hmm. I mean, after... Yeah, he, he disconnected. Okay. So after me opening up... I suppose my, my hand wasn't all that bad, but I just played it poorly. Um, but yeah. I was still able to win, as you can tell, and yeah, I'll, I'll jump into another duel, I think, maybe even another two duels, we'll, we'll see, we'll see, and then, yeah, so yeah, see you in a bit, so here I am again, um, using a different version of Symphonic Warriors, still Symphonic Warriors though, as you can tell, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm using a version I actually never really showed off on my channel because um, because it's, it's basically the the other two versions, but but um, with one slight difference, there's literally one card that I swapped out. I mean, I got three copies of it in the deck, but it's still just one card. Um. And yeah, apart from that, it's just a regular Symphonic Warrior deck. Um, yeah. Um, so I guess I don't really have anything else I wanted to mention in this video. I just kind of... I mean, th this was a pretty spontaneous... Oh god, that cross. Um, this was a pretty spontaneous idea. Uh, I've wanted to do it before. But I just never really, never really, meh, <laughs> I never really did it. Um, and now I'm kind of, it's, it's sort of me being out of replays, and me not really, not really wanting to put up another one of those videos, I suppose. It's not that I, that I don't, I don't like putting up those videos, it's more like, I'm not completely entirely happy with them yet, as is, um, I, I kind of find some of them to be, eh, I just don't like the, um, the what's it called, uh, the quality of some of them, really, uh, yeah, it's, um, it's, it's sort of tricky to explain, I suppose, it's, it's just that, I find that, in comparison to uh, other YouTubers, I guess, other YouTubers, and um, also, if if you look at um, kind of my my view count and my like count and whatever, um, it's it's not that I that I, I guess it's not that I really care about them too terribly much, it's just that I still, even though I don't just do this for uh, for getting likes and whatnot, it's just I, I kind of had a look at my statistics and my statistics said um, that people don't really watch the entirety of my videos um, but rather just um, yeah, watch like uh maybe ten, twenty percent of them and I wasn't really happy with that. So yeah. Uh yeah, I think I know what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna banish this. Make this thing anything divine, of course. Got gonna make it divine, right? And then I go I'll go for a Leo. I'll get uh, another malicious out uh, I'll I'll get uh, strike bounds on the field I mean this this might be a terrible idea I'll just I'll just do it screw oh, <laughs> he surrendered okay so I would have gone for gachi gachi and I would have had uh, one spell or trap negation one uh, monster effect negation so Trishula couldn't have done much for him 
Um, his first mirror would have been, uh, his first ritual spell would have been negated. And he couldn't have targeted this, so it would have been kind of tricky to get out of this. Plus, all of these would have been bumped up by 400, so I don't think a cross even have a monster that could beat over them. So he'd need to burn a lot of resources just to get over these two, and then he would have had the Leo as another problem. So, yeah, I mean, uh,. I might actually not have negated his ritual spell just because Regeki and Dark Hole are a thing. And <laughs> those those would just destroy this field. Um literally destroy it. But yeah, that was that was still a cool replay. I that was that was cool. Um and yeah, I, I'm sorry I didn't really explain my decision making, I just kinda go through um, everything in my mind before I do it, and then I know is, oh hey, I can, I can still normal summon and get the Void Ogre and lock him out of doing much. So yeah, uh, that, that might have, uh, whatever. So yeah, I, I guess I'll, I'll record another video considering this one was a very short one, so yeah. See you in just a moment. So here I am again. Um still using symphonic warriors of course because I, I don't think that there's any other archetype that exists in this game, I'm pretty sure. So yeah. Uh I'm using my Symphonic Warriors Spirit Deck this time. I got a pretty damn decent opening hand, um, considering I've got this to drop for uh, the guitars. I've got this for later on, I suppose. I, st I still love this card so much. Um, and yeah, I've got I've got options. I'd say I could actually I could I could do things here, do things to myself, my opponent, or whatever. Um. I can use Aratama. Uh yeah, Aratama too. Add an Izanami. And then I can use guitars to drop I could drop a Nikitama right now to get um a free draw I think I'll just do that. I'll just drop the Nikitama. Get a draw for that. Um This means that I won't get um that I won't get the Symphonic Warrior drums in my graveyard as quickly, which means I can't. Uh, let's see. I mean, yeah, I think I'll just go for this. Um, the idea right now is, is that I want to get this and the who, that that draw though. Um, that I want to get. Uh. The, the second one of these from my deck on the field with this and that I want to change it uh that I want to change it's uh it's what it, it's what it's called um it's attribute with this in the graveyard and then I want to go for Izanami you know blah blah um enough blah blah bling <laughs> um I'll just end my turn I didn't really see um a point in going for uh, Castell there. That it, it might have been good to play some other rank fours, but eh, extra deck space already is tight. Um, still a a what's it called? Oh, that that throws me off. If you kill this, don't don't kill this, please. Ah, oh. ah, oh. it's like he's playing against me. Damn him, damn him. This this seems like a interesting deck though. Th this far, because uh, I think I once made a rock stun deck using this card, and I don't even know this. Oh, oh it's Konamani, right, right. But isn't the... isn't the Nebra disc, isn't that a machine? 
pretty sure it's a machine, so rock fall area won't work with that. And they've already got a field spell. And I still this is this is interesting. Um He's gonna bring out golden jet. Why not why not never disc? Or does never disc only get its effect when it's special some when it's normal summoned I mean? Uh I I don't know. I've I've tried making a deck around this. Uh archetype ones, but I, I wasn't really happy with it. I guess it, it felt too much like an actual archetype to me, and I don't, I don't, I'm not a huge, huge fan of uh, archetypes. Um, you know, it's, it's just kind of meh. meh. Oh, oh, he's he's gonna. Oh, that's, that's tricky. That's cool. He's gonna go for that macho macho, no, ma macho meh, meh, whatever. For his his boss monster, um, the deck still is really cool. I just I don't like playing archetypes. It's that's just something about it. I don't I don't really find all that appealing. But yeah, uh, that Geki went to grave. What? Oh right, <laughs> right Geki. Ah, uh, let's see. Um. Um, but what do we say? Like, we gotta sound smart here, right? So... Uh, I, I don't wanna sound like a dick either, and say, ha, oh, I'm, I'm happy about it. You knew. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely go for the Nikitama here. Uh, and then I think... Well, the thing is, I, I can't get, um, my scissors from my deck, so I think I'll just go for... Aratama and kind of get the surge, then go for Castel. Uh, we'll get a second Izatami because why not? Um, a special summon this thing then, the Yamato. And then I'll go for Castel just so I can get the draw off of Nikitama when I use its effect. Uh, I think I'll use its effect on Chumachu, or Ma Machu, Mech, Mech, whatever. Um, Tea Time doesn't know how to, how to say stuff, how to pronounce stuff, so it's not my, my strength. Um, and yeah, then I've still got the Malicious Engrave, so I could go for, let's see. Gauntlet would completely wipe his field, and it's not like that. There's there be any advantage to going for M7, uh, but at the same time, uh, let's see. Beyond the hope would also not be bad because uh, I think, yeah, with the tech less than or equal to this card, so this card would be useless then. And yeah, I think I'll go for that because it's it's trickier. And yeah, I, I like it. Um, and then I can just kind of beat over his his stuff. Uh, I think I'll I'll add I'll add um another rank four. Maybe the uh that. Gigia card, or the card that Gigas like to use. The one that enables you to add um, a machine type level 4 level monster. So I can add guitars with it. I think that works. But I'm not sure if it needs two machine type monsters to make it. However, I, I think I'll add that to this deck. i definitely make it. Oh. And he surrenders. Oh, that, that's fair enough. I mean, I still add plays for days, yo. Um, I could have went for Yamato. I could have went for this last turn, but that that wouldn't be much of a point. And I'm just I'm too afraid of uh Mirror Falls. Recently, it's it's been 
it's been crazy how, how often I, I run into that card. And I just didn't want to overextend. I mean, I, I could have still brought it back with the with, uh, Tsunami, of course. But, <laughs> there. That wouldn't have been too terribly much of a point. Uh, and yeah, I suppose that will be it for this video then. Um, I, I hope you, you liked it. I hope, uh, I hope I'm somewhat happy with it, with it, and I hope I'm even gonna put it up, which I'm, I'm not, I'm not actually sure of yet, because I don't like my voice a lot, and yeah, it's just, meh, eh. I, mean, I don't, I don't like my voice, I don't like, uh, hearing myself, I don't, I don't want other people to hear me, but after all, uh, I feel like I should do commentaries because a it'll, uh, it'll improve my English and b it'll it'll kind of make this channel not just be one one sided, I suppose. Um, it'll make things a little more versatile. And that's what I want to have, because I don't just want to keep putting up replays and replays and replays every day. Uh, yeah, as I said, I'm not too happy with them uh, yet. So yeah, um, I'm not sure what I even want to do now. I could, I could. Nah, I'm not going to go over any decks or whatever. I think I'll just, I'll just end it here. Uh, probably long enough as is and I'm babbling way too much again uh, so yeah I hope you enjoyed and yeah see you next time